Batteries have long been the limiting factor for many consumer products. Most notably, handphones, drones, and electric cars. We as consumers want something that lasts, takes minutes to charge instead of hours, and we also want the possibility of over-the-air charging. For years, we were given the news of breakthroughs in battery technology, but how far are we on this path? And when can we truly be worry-free when it comes to our batteries? So let's talk about it today. I'm Lei, and this is the Curious Elephant. The idea of air charging is one of the most exciting technology ideas out there. Here we're not talking about wireless charging that exists for quite a few years already. We're talking about air charging without contacting the charging pad. More technically, wireless charging is referring to near field or non-radiative techniques. Power is transferred by magnetic fields using inducive coupling between coils of wire, or by electric fields using capacitive coupling between metal electrodes. However, this idea is, to my opinion, a gimmick. If we are required to put our phone on the charging pad, we might as well just charge our phone with wire. So what we are talking about today is far field or radiative techniques, also called power beaming. Power is transferred by beams of electromagnetic radiation, like microwaves or laser beams. Imagine yourself walking into a room or a cafe. Immediately, all of your gadgets start to charge themselves. How exciting is that? Well, this is entirely possible and is already in production. Personally, I do not see a lot of difference in charging with charging pads than with wires. The main reason being the physical location of the gadgets is still fixed. However, if every room you walk in are equipped with far field technology, potentially you do not have to worry about charging at all. Another way of charging your phone is having a device that follows you sending power to your phone wirelessly in the air. Motherboard, the new technology startup, claims to do that. Charging is a huge pain point for various industries. The success of long-range charging technology is definitely a deal breaker. Less excitingly, duration of charge is another pain point, especially when your movement is restricted to a small radius the wire reaches. However, in the market, there are already several companies that can lower the duration of charge significantly. To fully charge a phone normally takes one or two hours. Take a look at the one in your hand you know. However, with fast charging technology, you will have enough power to last for several hours after only a 15 to 30 minutes charge. Most notably from this chart, OnePlus 3 with its Chinese dash charging technology, you can gain up to 58% of power in just 30 minutes. However, we don't care about this, do we? We want one of those 30 seconds from zero to full charge headline batteries. Unfortunately for us, that technology is not there yet, limited by the size of the battery. But there are some promising companies out there. The Israeli company behind the video and its founder and CEO, Doron Myersdorf, tells me the technology was born out of research being conducted in the search for a cure for Alzheimer's at Tel Aviv University. And uh, during that research, uh, these uh, specific amino acids uh, were isolated and uh, we uh, managed to use those amino acids and peptides and create nanocrystals. We call them nanodots. Uh, these nanocrystals have these special properties uh, that en enable us to uh, use them in, in various devices, such as a battery. Store Dot, an Israeli company, is one of them. Their most practical charging solution is called a times 20. And that's right. This means it charges your device 20 times as fast. This 50 ampere charger can power a phone to 100% in about 6 minutes. If charging a phone with 6 minutes still can't make you happy, they have a times 100. This is the one that charges your phone in 30 seconds. But the problem is still that the charger is monstrous in size. Nevertheless, this opens up a great industry and solves one of the most dire problems in this market. Furthermore, the problem with batteries nowadays is also how long they last after one charge. And in all cases, they're not satisfactory. For DJI Phantom 4, the battery lasts around 23 minutes. For everyday cell phones, most of the batteries last one day or less, although companies could argue that consumers could simply charge their phone once every day. But they know that consumers like us would pay a premium to save us the headache of remembering to charge every single day. 
Lucky for us, there are already batteries out there that do this. A search on Google, how to make my battery last longer. Most of the search results will tell you some software fixes, but the truth is iOS and Android have already improved a lot in terms of power efficiency in the past few years. The real fix we need here is in the hardwares. Lithium air and lithium sulfur is a big focus of the future that promises longer battery life. Both of them address key limitations of the present day batteries. Pairing lithium and oxygen can theoretically lead to electrochemical cells with the highest specific energy possible. Indeed, the theoretical specific energy of a non-aqueous lithium air battery is around 12 kilowatt hour per kg. This is comparable to the theoretical specific energy of gasoline, which is around 13 kilowatt hour per kg. In practice, the lithium air battery with a specific energy of around 1.7 kilowatt hour per kg at the cell level have already been developed. This is about five times greater than that of a commercial lithium ion battery, the most commonly used batteries out there. So I think no matter what, the bottom line is that as a consumer, we don't care about the specifics and how things can be done. As much as our gadgets are concerned, we don't want to be bothered at all. We don't want to be worrying about the battery lives of our devices, whether the problem is solved by long range, wireless charging, or batteries with better performance. It doesn't matter. What matters to us is that when we are outside having fun with friends or shooting a, a beautiful scene with our brand new Phantom 4 or waiting for an important phone call in an airport, we don't want to be interrupted by the message saying, battery low. So thank you for watching. If you're interested in knowing about the future of batteries, you can check out the list of references I have gathered in making this video. Last but not least, subscribe for more videos in the future. I upload videos like this every day.